But think that already 4,000 years ago, someone was sleeping right here. And what you have chosen is not a hotel room, but the experience of reflecting on your life while you are immersed in a distant past. Good morning from Bari in Puglia. Today is our last day here and we are leaving and traveling day ahead of us and we're gonna go to Matera. But before we leave, we're just gonna quickly show you our Airbnb in the past couple nights. And this is located in Central Bari. And actually the unit itself is pretty cool. This is the living room. We got the L-shaped couch here that we just hang out for television. Little desk, uh, not enough for two people to comfortably work, but we use it. Now it comes to the kitchen, it's very standard. We got induction stove that we had to alternate between the AC and then also the water heater because we don't have enough electricity here. Then we got the little sink and countertop and fridge. But the highlight that I like is actually where we sleep. And this is gonna be a pretty tight because it's a loft. Little desk upstairs and then also bed. And there's a lot of mosquitoes here, believe it or not. Last but not least is the bathroom. So this little foyer that you walk in from outside, you got the, yeah, really it's called foyer here. A very tiny shower, but they managed to put a bidet here actually. And you know, that's it. All right, we've arrived in Matera in southern Italy and today we are going to take you inside a very special place that we've decided to stay for a couple of days. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best places to stay in Matera and we are super duper excited. Yeah, it's called Locanda San Martino Terme. Right? San Martino Terme? Yeah, yeah so okay. it's the name of, that's the name of the hotel. We're gonna show you around once we get there, but mm -hmm. it's about 10 minute walk from the central station. Yeah, and the hotel itself is built into a cave system, just like a lot of things here in, in Matera and we've decided we're gonna stay uh, in a cave for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, that sounds more adventurous than what it is, but the picture actually looks so pretty, yeah. so. All right, so let's go. Yeah, let's go. We're lost. Yay. <laughs> Not as glorious as we thought. Okay, for $180 a night, I hope that we don't have to go up and down this every time we want to get to and from our hotel. Because <laughs> it looks like it's in a nice area. It's prettier in the picture that you actually walk it. <laughs> walk All with right. your luggage. Well, we might be, it might be okay, we don't know yet. I think we did see the sign though. Yeah. It's a good sign. Is this it? I hope so. <laughs> Holy crap, 24. But look at this. It's really old. Wow. All right, 15, 16. All the way to the top. <laughs> I bet it's going to. All right. Uh. <laughs> We're inside a cave. This is so cool. <laughs> Look at the bathtub! You can see the bathtub from outside inside a cave! Wow, this is nice! Oh, look at the ceiling! <laughs> wow, this is very nice! Well, welcome to our cave hotel. Obviously, the bed is right here. I was expecting more of a big wall TV, but you know, we're gonna watch TV anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we have a full size big bathtub here inside the cave. Gigantic bathtub, which I'm sure Holof is going to use. Big sink right here. Can you see it? And the bathroom is over here. And the bathroom. Oh, got a shower. All very nice. I'm pretty happy. And some soaps and shampoos that Holof can steal. Let's see if there's any skeletons in this. <laughs> For those people staying longer than a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they leave this book here 
for you with the Wi-Fi name and password, but also inside it says, Dear guest and friend, in welcoming you, we would like to apologize if we cannot meet all of your expectations of comfort. But think that already 4,000 years ago, someone was sleeping right here, and what you have chosen is not a hotel room, but the experience of reflecting on your life while you are immersed in a distant past. No decorations or frills, only the essential beauty of the simple things created by human hands. This is the underlying idea that accompanied us in the respectful renovation of this place. We wish you a pleasant stay. Just like it was 4,000 years ago. <laughs> With a good flat screen TV. Yeah, I don't know. I think they could have at least put a couple pictures on the wall. Oh boy, what's going on? I think maybe she forgot to set her alarm, turn her alarm off. But this is the view. This is Matera, just like it probably was. Well, maybe not 4,000 years ago, but not much has changed. On your arm to avoid it to lose them. Okay. Now we go left and then downstairs. Okay. Enjoy. I think that's part of our experience is absolutely this Roman era spa, and we have to make a reservation in order to do it. But it's located just right downstairs in the hotel's basement. We're not going to actually bring this camera in because it's a bit uh, big and obnoxious, and people might be a little bit upset we've been missing. So we're just going to switch to the GoPro now. But just looking at it right now, it's amazing, and we can't wait to get in. Rinse off first. Gonna put the swimming cap on. <laughs> they gave us bad hats to wear. They're not rubber ones, they're just cloth. But I wasn't gonna wear them, but everyone seems to be. How are you supposed to wear the swimming cap? Just right on the top of your head. Like this? It's like... Thanks, yeah. sir. You look like a fisherman. So cute. A Catholic priest. He's a little hipper. Like he got the little skull cap. It's so cool and it's not actually as hot as I thought it would be. No, no, it's only 30 degrees Celsius. It's, like, it's comfortable. It's not yeah. cold. It's not hot. But this is so cool. Yeah. But in order to get our money's worth, we definitely had to stay here for two hours. <laughs> no matter how boring it is. No, this is super cool. For sure. That's great. Everyone's gone, so we have the spa to ourselves. They're not leaving, they're just not in that area. Cool. We're gonna head into the whirlpool. The only thing is the bubbles. The bubbles are blowing the chlorine out. But once you get out into this normal part, it's totally fine. Everybody in the spa just got shushed by the lady. Apparently we were all talking too loud. There's a sign right outside the door basically said this is a meditation. A meditation. And if you don't meditate, basically, if you don't meditate, you're supposed to just at least respect the ones that you are planning on meditating. The thing is, nobody here cares. We're all just having fun. But we all got shush. There's a sauna. I'm not a big fan of saunas, but definitely going to use it. <laughs> yeah, for all of our Scandinavian viewers, right? <laughs> going to go into the calderium, which is a steam room. Let's do that. Steam room it is. Whoa. Holy crap, I don't know how long I can be in here. <laughs> I don't know how long I can be in here. Steam room, so it's steamy. Oh, and it's burning. We just spent about 10 minutes in the steam room and that was a lot for me. <laughs> it's also a dry sauna and it's getting hotter and hotter because Michael just poured the whole water in. Oh, I feel it right away. Just try to warm up before hopping back into the pool. And cool thing about this place is that it's just so neon light. As you can see, all my face is like yellow, green, blue. Funky Roman thermal baths. How fancy is that? Get yourself a cup of tea. Spa day. Blink. It's pretty nifty, isn't it? <laughs> That's the end of our spa day. Sadly, we're gonna go back upstairs in we spent like two hours. Sadly, we're going to a cave. Something sad about this. Yeah, we get like Flintstones room, so I think it will be happy. Yeah, I love this. And it's so relaxing. It is pretty relaxing. Yeah, yeah, just so many different rooms and we enjoy them all. Yeah, I'm not really big on the heat, like the steam rooms and the dry saunas. I think it was worth the 20 euros each to come in and give it a try. And you get a good cup of tea too, yep. along the way. So if you like this video and like seeing Hollywood a little bit half naked in the pool, uh -huh. give it a like, click the like button, 
Uh, if you want to subscribe to our videos and see what we have to offer, click the subscribe button and then click that notification bell so you can get a notification every time we post something new. Absolutely, and thanks for watching from Matera, Italy. Thank you for watching. Sweaty. <laughs> Synchronized swimmer. Too hot. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up. Thanks for watching. Can't see us. Oh. <laughs>